Hi legends and welcome back. I feel like I'm in a game show right now because I've ditched my desk chair. I am on my bed. Welcome to my bed. This could be the worst setup I've ever done and I'm up doing myself so dirty right now with this but I also don't care. I'm getting kind of bored of my traditional setup. I want to do something different. I mean, like, I just want to get out of my chair. I've said no to the boom arm. I know so many of you could be, like, groaning and sighing right now because we know what the audio quality was like when I didn't have my boom arm and it was kind of bad. We're bringing it back. Let's talk about what you're all here for. H2O, just add water. We're on season two. I did the best and worst rated episodes of season one quite a while back. It's been a hot second. And hey, the views on my channel were dipping, so I said let's do a best and worst rated reaction. <laughs> now, before we get into it, just want to say, tell me that's not Jared Padalecki, Padaleski, whatever his name is, Mr. Dean from Gilmore Girls? Tell me that's not him. That is him. If it's not, I'm going to be so confused because that is him. Tell me otherwise. You're not going to convince me. But um, let's read out the best and worst rated episodes of season two, shall we? I don't think I have the attention span for four episodes today, so we're going to do two of the best and one of the worst. And let's be honest, I don't think you guys actually care about the worst, but we'll see how it goes. So starting with the best rated episodes, we have season two, episode 25, Sea Change, and that got 8.6 out of 10. Next up, we have season two, episode 26, Unfathomable unfathomable that got 8.7 out of 10 that is our best rated wow! the worst rated episode was season 2 episode 3 the one that got away that got 7.6 out of 10 they were on crack these writers because if you're getting sevens in your worst rated oh oh they need a raise speaking of give them a raise don't be shy they're only asking what three <sighs> percent anywho okay so i guess we're watching the finale of H2O. Special power that I'm not afraid. Pause. Okay, just confirmed they got Supernatural mixed up with H2O. Checks out, I guess, because um, I just saw Dean and whatever his name was from Supernatural. And I, I know. They're not in H2O, both of them. Performance. I told you to do those dishes last night. Oh, Cleo. <laughs> I'm meeting Ricky and Emma. Ricky and Emma. Did you know I can kind of do an Australian accent? I don't think it's that good, but it's not the worst. Cleo. <laughs> I'm not your slave. Of course not. I pay. Yeah. Oh, they got a hustle going. She should count her blessings that Cleo isn't the worst oldest sibling she could have because if she's paying you to do your chores, you've kind of won. Like, whose sibling is out here paying you to do their chores? Not mine. Also, Phoebe Tonkin is mother. Always had a crush on her. Always will. Look, I know they used to be friends of yours, but things have to change. Oh my goodness, musty behaviour. Yeah. Who was this budget Cleo? Like, he had such a type, because tell me this isn't like budget Cleo. I'm so sorry, Miss Gurley, it's not disrespectful, but... Stay clear of them, especially Cleo. Wait, was she like a... For me? A bad mermaid? Was she a baddie? Questions. These are really important questions I'm asking, I'm just saying. This is why you come to me for the commentaries. The dishes. Oh my god, he does not stop going on about the chores. But also, I get it because Papa Dear is probably tired from. I don't know what job he does in this, his fishing job. Now, Cleo! Okay! No one shouted Cleo more than the dad, did they? You've been avoiding me all day at school. Yeah, because he's got a girl on the side. No, he's got a side chick. Uh, she's uncomfortable with me talking to you. Because she knows she's budget Cleo. Uh, it's only temporary. It is only temporary because I don't is remember that Charlotte. What you want? Or Charlotte. Oh god, she's asking the deep it's questions. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Oh my goodness, the, the dishes. dishes. Cleo, these dishes are your responsibility, not Kim's. Do them. Oh wow, he was really up her ass about these dishes. Oh, not them. Oh, because obviously her hands getting wet. I forgot about that. No wonder she doesn't want to go near the dishes. You don't need gloves. Just do the chores. <gasps> he said, "Get dry skin." Neither of us are going anywhere until they're done, Cleo. Oh my goodness, he was a menace to society, this father. But also not really, he's just asking his daughter to do dishes. But let's call him a menace, because you can't spell menace without men. 
points were made. Lewis isn't talking to you. It must be because he's outgrown you. You know Lewis. He's too nice to say it to your face. She was so messy. Like, you know that's not true. That's embarrassing. Ooh. <gasps> Goodness, I did not realize they had like the Battle of the Mermaids. You know, if Wizards of Waverly Place had this episode, it would be called like Wizards versus Wizards, but it would have been Mermaids versus Mermaids. Oh, <gasps> you don't deserve this. It's my you know how is. mean you have to. Oh, now it's mine. To be fair, to be fair, not a fan of Charlotte, but if that actually is her grandma's necklace, then yes, I I think she should have it. I first would be like, that's so rude to snatch off her neck, and it is. But also, that's her grandma, so yeah, I guess she should have it. Cleo was really out here fighting for her life in this episode, and sorry, I meant Cleo! Oh wow. Uh, that's the most PG kiss alive, though. Like, there is no passion there, it's just lips touch. They got that bag. Honestly, good for them. She's gonna swim away all her problems! Oh, or not. Oopsie. I read the room wrong. Ew, like, get a job, get a hobby. Please leave me a message. Oh, not the sad music. You really let me down. Mm-hmm, let him know, bestie. But you, um, still cared for me. I guess I was wrong. I guess I, this was peak drama. Oh, I've got chills. Like, that's how dramatic this has been? And her acting, where is her Oscar? I just know it sucks to run with your shoes on into the water because I, mm, I hate the feeling of that. It feels awful. It feels like you're dredging yourself up into the pits of hell. Mm -mm, I don't want damp shoes. Here. No, Cleo's not here. I like how the subtitles are. I couldn't even pick out what um they were saying because of the accent. Like, here, they said year. It wasn't year, it was here. Know the difference. God. God. No, I'm calling the police. They're filing a missing person's report. She's been missing for probably like two hours. Hmm. <laughs> These girlies were so hench and they don't get enough credit for like swimming in those tails. If you saw the behind the scenes, they were having training to swim in these tails because they were so heavy. Like they had to be good swimmers for this. Don't ever call them untalented. Don't you dare. They could take you in a fight. Confirmed. Ooh, they were playing such ominous, sinister music. Was it really necessary? But there is one person she wanted to talk to. Lewis. Mm -mm -mm. It's weird, I'm sure I had my phone on me yesterday. So, you haven't spoken to Cleo today? You wanna say anything, you oh. jealous, musty woman? Look at that smile, oh, she's evil. Like, if you were that jealous, get help. Oh, the drama he's finding his phone. Oh, I get why this was a top rated episode because the tea is juicy. It is spilling. It's Cleo. She's missing. Missing? It. Oh, Lewis? girly was about to have a breakdown. Mm -mm. She had a system reboot. Mm -mm. Cleo? I'm finding it hard to be both a mermaid is this and a Lewis's girl. dad? Or is it like his crazy. grandpa? Could be either or. That's a shark breeding ground. Yeah, but you might be there. Shouldn't they be like friends with the sharks because they're fish too? Fish are friends, not food. Says the pescatarian. <laughs> wow, we're really making a villain out of this shark who was unbothered, may I say? He wasn't coming anywhere near Cleo and she's going, ooh, ooh, gotta hide. She's making the problems up there. Why did you steal my phone? Eh, cool, yeah, cool her Found out. It in your bag. Embarrassing. I mean, she lost, Lewis. In more ways than one. This was such a villainous behaviour. And each time she did a little villainous smile. Do Gotta give it to her, that, like, credit here. This was iconic behaviour. For a TV show, a kid's TV show villain, she's like, ooh, Cleo's missing. <laughs> I never want to see you again. What, so you're <gasps> were they ever together? Absolutely. Okay, they were together because he's dumping her. <laughs> well. Lewis gave me some hope in men when I was younger. Because look at the way he bounced back so quick. Oh, he was full on snorkeling for her. Oh, look at him going above and beyond for Cleo. He's just a boy with a dream. No fins, just feet. And he's going to swim and snorkel for her? 
don't know what point I'm trying to make, but he did not disappoint. Also, absolutely <laughs> love how he found her instantly. Now, some may argue that this was just true love and his heart was calling to her. Like, he knew. But the probability of her, him finding her that fast, probably not that high. But you know what? He let love be his guide. So, go, Lewis. Ooh, with hands touch. Oh my God. He was so pale compared to her. Why'd you come after me, Lewis? <gasps> think? Wait, is this the episode where they kissed? Have they kissed already? I never should have agreed to not seeing you. Yeah, you dumb pooter. <gasps> what about Charlotte? Broke up with her. It's just us. <gasps> Your name? Us. Against the world. Oh, he wasn't that cheesy. Honestly, good for him. I mean a lot more than friends. <gasps> a declaration of love. Oh my goodness, my body is in full chills right now. <gasps> Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh. No wonder this was a top rate. The kid, everyone, everyone jumped, everyone screamed. We all got what we wanted. Oh wow. <gasps> Look at that. We finally kissed. If Cleo's still missing when the She goes missing and comes back with a boyfriend? Icon. What a legend. Love that for them. I'm so, oh, wow. A lot to unpack in this episode. A lot happened. Is she back with Lewis? Um, She's back with Lewis. Thank you so much, Lewis. It's my pleasure. That's how he wins some points with the dad too. Like now when they mention, oh, we kissed as well. Dad can't be mad because whilst he was on his ass, Lewis was out there finding his daughter. Cleo, I don't say this often enough. Do the dishes. <laughs> Imagine. That would have honestly been a great joke if he just mentioned the dishes. <gasps> Charlotte Boohoo, Crimey River, no one cares. Ooh, like what's she gonna do? That water bubble, splash someone in the face? <laughs> oh, she's so dramatic. This was some unhinged, pathetic behaviour. Stick together, cause the best things come in three. Okay, next episode, let's go. I don't know why they still have Dean and whatever their name is from Supernatural. Special power that I'm not afraid to. I honestly kind of love it because it's funny. Like, yeah, Supernatural, H2O, same thing. I see the confusion. No difference there. Like, why would you not think they're the same? They did not have to go that hard with the intro. But they did. Are they going to kiss again? Are they going to kiss again? Oh, they were so damn bad and it's adorable. <gasps> So rude. Can't believe Emma and Ricky cock blocked us. Oh, they did it. They did it. Oh. God, they were a cute couple. Did anyone else? Were they a popular ship? I know I shipped them. I mean, clearly they must have been because these are the highest rated episodes. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Cleo and Lewis got together in the highest rated episodes here. Do you think we should warn her about the full moon tonight? <sighs> I'd let her fend for herself. We we're trying to make sure you were ready. Well, I don't need your advice. I'm more mermaid than all three of you put together. Like, no one cares. You could just say thank you and not be so rude. It's not hard to be polite. <laughs> she was unhinged. Oh, their knees. Their knees. I know. If this is real life, well, it's about a show about mermaids. But my knees would have cracked. Now, I don't know how he explains to himself what he saw, but Mandy was. Oh! Are you alright? What happened? They were launched 15 feet into the air, Manzi. What do you mean what happened? You saw my Manzi. Oh, get him to Specsavers. Everything's falling into place, Max. There's more Lewis. Who is Max? Like, what Watch was me. his relevance? I'm going to pretend he's just Lewis from the future. And it can take away what it gave. You mean the pounds? For half a day? <gasps> like an eclipse? Forever. Forever? Forever? Oh. My. Goodness. Keep the girls away from Mako to especially the moon. <gasps> and you know what? That's exactly where they're gonna end up because this show loves some drama. You really need to get some perspective. <gasps> you need to get some perspective. That's a real wake up call to say that to someone. You need perspective. The moon is gonna be stronger than anything we've ever experienced and you need to be ready for it. Stay inside tonight. Fear and good. Hey, Lewis. I believe you. 
Now really, you've seen her unhinged behaviour. Would it be the worst to tell her to go to the pool? Like, hey, it'll protect you there. Now, some may say that's manipulation, and yes it is, because she's a menace to society. Maybe we should sabotage her and send her off to the moon pool and get her powers whisked away. Maybe this is my villain error. Uh, Ash, I can't be seen at the moment. Well, Who's Ash? Who is Ash? I don't, I don't know who Ash is. I don't really care, to be fair. Sorry, Ash. We'll get rid of him before the full moon rises. Too late. Oh, so Ash is here to stay? And this was a highest rated episode? Ash, count your blessings. You were lucky. If you want to be dumb, be dumb. But don't make it my business. Oh, ew! That was kind of creepy. I'm so tired of Charlotte and it's been, what, 30 minutes? I don't know how they survived with this girly in their show for how long, like, the actual characters, because I'd have been so fed up. Honestly, they should have told her to get rid of her powers. Like, they should have sabotaged her. Is that really bad of me to say? I don't care. Sabotage her. Put her in the moon pool. Call me a villain. I'll take it. I've got a better idea. Just push her into the water. I bet Mako Island is calling you big time. <gasps> oh, he was saying sabotage her too. Oh my, legends think alike. Great minds. The girls, and we'll go there. <gasps> you and me? Oh my, wait, do they, is this actually the plot of the episode that they get rid of her powers? Oh my God. We can watch the moon pool bubble together. You know how beautiful that is. Um. <laughs> Did I write this show or have I just seen it before? Okay. I honestly don't remember a thing, but the fact that they're gonna get rid of her powers. Hell yeah, girlies. They said sabotage. And I'm so happy for them. Lewis doesn't want us to go out there. We just have to trust him. Just, tr yeah, trust Lewis. He knows what he's doing. I don't know if this accident is getting worse as I go on or if it's getting a little better. I don't know. All I know is, yes, let's sabotage Charlotte. And let's get rid of her magic because she's a menace to society. I don't think that was that bad. If you feel the urge, you should just jump in the pool. The girls tell me they feel much better in there. He, I'm impressed by Manzi. He's so iconic for this. Lewis was a man of action. I think we should forget about us. I didn't even know there was an us. I don't even remember this relationship. Like I'm gonna you know, be back. No ways. Cleo, you shouldn't be here. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Not without you, Lewis. You Not without you, Lewis. You're so predictable. Oh wait, Charlotte's playing the long game. Oh, how the tables have turned. Any mermaid in that pool, when the full moon passes over tonight, loses her powers. So girl, they dip and leave now. Go. Leave. Like, what's stopping you? Leave. Oh, I don't know why Cleo didn't just dip. We see how fast they swim as mermaids. Like, she could leave and not have any issue. Oh my girlies. They have one job in these episodes. Don't look at the moon. And every time, they look at the moon. Where is she? <laughs> uh, not them showing up at the horsemen of the apocalypse. Don't get all steamed up. Wow, they really rehearsed that line, didn't they? Don't get steamed up. I know they were rehearsing that in the mirror together. See, now, why couldn't Lewis just push her in the pool? If you're here, bestie, be useful. Oh, it's time. Oh, she really was in her villain era. Over a man, may I repeat. Gully, there are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> You can find another one, I promise you. <gasps> oh my, oh my, no, no. Look at the three musketeers back in action. <gasps> yes, strip her of her powers. <gasps> Not me calling for this the entire episode and then this happens. My mind. Now I'm kind of feeling a bit bad for her. I mean, I know she's a villain, but I would hate it if my powers were taken. And also her grandma's powers were taken. <gasps> oh, she's not a mermaid. Oh, she is a mermaid. 
She's not a mouse. <gasps> that, would, that would actually be so tragic though. If you lose your tail. I would need to go to therapy ASAP. Oh, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Talk about a dream team up. More powerful than the Avengers. Argue with the wall. Did the Avengers ever strip anyone of their powers? I don't think so. You know, all I ever wanted was for you to care for me. All I wanted was you. She is playing that on repeat on Spotify. Well, if you ever change your mind, look me up, won't you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good for him. He didn't even confirm that because let's not lie, he's not gonna look her up. It feels good to have it back. Wait. Where it belongs. Wait, I'm so confused though. Because isn't that her grandma's necklace? And I kind of feel bad that they took that from her. I know Cleo was given it, the necklace in like season one. So I guess if that was the grandma who gave it to her, then the grandma chose to give it to Cleo. But I kind of feel bad for Charlotte. Like that was her grandma's, that's her family history. Oh, we're exposing ourselves to Ash? Oh, oh. Why do I have no memory of Ash and yet we exposed the mermaid thing to him? I mean, does, is Ash here to stay? Is he in season three? I'll find out eventually, but... He's like the real deal. They exposed their mermaidness to him. Yeah, everything. Go, boss. Oh my goodness, who'd have guessed it's him? Glad you liked it. It's him, whose name I can't remember. Miss me? Miss me. <laughs> like, can someone say his name, please? Completely forgotten who this man's name is. Ricky? No, that's that's her. Last time Zane saw us, we were Zane. Is that where mermaids? Are you sure you can trust him? <gasps> okay, so the worst rated episode is revolving around Zane, and it kind of makes sense because is he going to find out the mermaids in this episode? Is that what we're setting up? Cleo can handle breaking up with Lewis. I can handle keeping clear of this self absorbed, okay? Oh wow, they were really all going through their breakup era. Which reverts back into the end of the season where they're all in their relationship era. Okay, go bosses. Ocean, your powers. Oh my god, awkward. We're not talking to your ex? Oh damn, I, cause I did not realise that they got together and then broke up and then go back together. And then they break up again, don't they, eventually? Wow. Oh. oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, wow, she was really in the entire season. <laughs> oh my god, Zane's a bad boy. Mm, he doesn't motocross. Oh my god. Lady night. That was not inaudible. These caption writers were lazy. He said later night. Is it that hard to hear? I don't think so. I like being a regular girl. <gasps> but she's not ordinary girl. There's nothing regular about you. He said she's different. She's not like other girls. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, the drama. You just, mm, I mean, that's a normal. What's wrong? <laughs> I think he's gonna find out in this episode. Kind of juicy. Also love how no one cared about Zayn. Like this was the lowest rated episode because no one really cared. Sorry Zayn. Am I the only one who didn't really care less about his character in the show? I'm so sorry. To the actor, nothing against you. Just Zayn as a character, I didn't really care. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, at my old school, I was reading about this study that links high intelligence with a good sense of humor. Oh really? Yeah, I think you'd be off the chart. Hey, M. I mean, she's got some moves. <laughs> That's all I have to say. She's got some moves. She and Lola seem to be getting on well. They do, don't they? Hey, I'm sure nothing's going on. Oh, debatable. He is a type. Women whose names begin with C and who have round faces. You know what I mean, they look similar. You know, it, it's so good to talk about this sort of stuff with someone who actually understands science. And she took that personally. He called me dumb. She kind of was a dumb pooch though sometimes. 
Sorry, no, sorry. She's not beating the naive claims. You're not afraid of me, are you? Saying it's not gonna happen. Really? She said it's not gonna happen, but she's sticking around watching him bike away all day. Is that why you're still here? Exactly. <laughs> That's such a pathetic fool. How was that not a staged fool? Because that was pathetic. Is he pretending so she he knows? Right. He's I knew you still liked me. Kind of creepy behaviour, but I knew it was a fake fool because that was pathetic. Like you could not fool if you bite like that. You just can't, it's lame. Zane, get this into your head. No. No means no, Zane. Think about it. I don't think he understands the concept. I really don't. We have to tell Lewis before she gets her claws into him. Mm. You mean? I hated when these kids shows would play that goofy music in the background. I felt like the acting could speak for itself with most of these shows. Like, their acting wasn't weak. We didn't need that music. But also, I get why. It's a kids show. But I could have done without it. Well, actually, there's probably not any record of me at all anymore. Why would that be? Well, just before I left, there was this huge fire. The fire? Which oh, was they're cool. so messy. They need to switch web browsers, like, immediately. Because it's going to be so awkward if she sees you're looking up. Her school. Lewis. Hey. Oh, Cleo. Cleo. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Because if there's a problem, we we can talk. Oh, he said open and honest communication. I know I loved Lewis in this show for a reason. Masterpiece. <laughs> Look at that. What a piece of junk. What? <laughs> She's into ceramics. Oh, sure. Oh. Surprising, given her shape. No. Sometimes I think I was the only oh, thing... Oh, Cleo you... really was being the crazy ex-girlfriend yeah. in this episode. It was not a good look for Cleo. You're going to give this up now, right? Right. There's nothing going on. You just need to put this behind you. What is that noise in the background? Like the birds or something? They really had a busy day with the birds because that is an annoying sound to have in your headphones. Charlotte left her diary here. Like, are they fighting up in those trees? I think the birds are killing each other. You could ignore it if you aren't listening in your headphones, which was how it wasn't supposed to be listened to, but they're kind of hard to ignore. Or am I just annoying? I'm kind of confused why they're playing this lovey-dovey music with Ricky and Zane when he just pretended to get an injury and then forcefully kiss her. And then she was rightfully mad. Mixed signals all around no ricky get up girly not her just waiting at the racetrack all day for zane she's searching high and low for this mandy girly <gasps> he's gonna splash up <gasps> the drama there's no way a quick paper towel is gonna dry her off help me oh okay trust trust Oh, he knows about the mermaid thing? The drama. Okay, he already knows she's a mermaid, confirmed. I'm stupid. I mean, I guess he realised in that episode, but he fainted. Honestly, I don't know. I need to recap on H2O, because I clearly don't know all my lore. And it's giving flop behaviour on my part. It's okay. I'm alone. He did the bare minimum and I got the feels. I was like, ooh. So now you he protected her? Ooh. He helped her? I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused you, but this time is different. At least he took some accountability. He apologised. Because it was overdue. Let's get back together. Out of all the people in the show, I don't think I could have cared less if these two were together or not. He always gave me toxic vibes. And I don't know if that's how I should think of him. Like, am I giving him less credit than he deserves? Or is he going for another... Is he trying to force another kiss? Because back off. Okay, no, she wants it. Okay. Okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, Cleo. The writers did her so dirty in this episode, but it also didn't seem out of the realms for Cleo to act like this because she was kind of naive. And I could see her definitely pulling off something this silly. But also I hate for her that they gave her the stereotypical crazy ex trope. It's all they can admit it to Lewis. This photo is from my theatre group. Oh. We're doing Romeo and Juliet, RJ. Why was she codenaming something that was so obvious though? You know, suspicious behaviour. Why would you name it Meet RJ? Just put Romeo and Juliet meeting like a normal person, Charlotte. God, she can't do anything right. 
Because you don't need a code name something that's not a secret. I don't know. I don't know. Is Charlotte's just a friend. Not like us. We're good friends. Just a friend for now, because we know it develops into more, the traitor. And if <sighs> you changed your mind about us, <gasps> then hey, just let me know. Oh my god, he was so he was so adorable. Open communication. If she's getting close to you, she's getting close to our secret. Oh, he wanted there to be more. It's good to know where I stand. <sighs> we could have had it all. Lewis, wait. Oh, girly. We don't let Cleo or Emma find out we're back together. Mm, they're on the download. They're secretive. Seriously. Okay. Oh. I promise. And we can't be seen together in public. You'll have to say goodbye to me here. Okay, I mean, at least he was okay with the rules. Like, whatever works for them. Play your way. You know where to find me. Whenever you want to see me, just call. Okay. Can't go give him some credit, you know. He went along with the plan of, hey, we can date, but you can't be seen in public together. You know, he really took the, uh, the worst deal there possible. That's the end of the best and worst rated episodes of H2O. Of H2O. I like H... <laughs> Almost threw up saying that. That's the end of the best ever episodes of H2O Just Add Water Season 3. Two. At this point, I think I should just give up. So let me know. Did you enjoy those episodes? Would you have ranked a different episode lower or a different episode higher? Also, what do you think of Zayn? I want to know your opinions on Zayn because I don't know what my opinions are, but I think he's kind of musty. Like he won some points at the end there, but they were like the bare minimum points. Anywho, see you in the next one. Bye from me and Dean. Ha ha ha.